Alrighty, so in today's video, we're going to take a look at how to bring a Photoshop file into Expressions, turn it into a template, and make it animate on and off. No, that sounds complex, but it's not that hard at all. So the first thing we're going to do is go to File, we're going to go to New, and we're going to say yes, because we want to create a new project. I'm going to call this project Sam, and click Yes. And then I'm going to go to 1080p by 60 because that's what I want to use. And I'm going to put Sam Angelo in down here as my name. And I'm going to click OK. And it's going to say this project already exists because I already have it set up. I'm going to click OK. And now we're ready to bring our Photoshop document in. So the first thing we've got to do is go up to File, Import. Photoshop layer then we're going to navigate to where our Photoshop document is Mine is on my desktop. So I'm going to go to my desktop find my Photoshop document click on it Then click open and you can see it brings up this layer Import box. I'm going to make sure that all of the layers. I want to import are checked and I'm going to click import and bada boom bada bing my lower third that we built inside of Photoshop is now inside of expression so now it's time to add text. So we're going to come up to our text object and we're just gonna click on it and you'll see it adds a little text box right here. We wanna click on these three little arrows and then on the little yellow circle and we can drag it down to where we want our text to be. Now one of the things we need to make sure is right now our text is outside of our lower third document. We wanna expand our lower third document and we want to put our text inside as the top layer. So now you can see it is now inside of the lower third. That way when we animate it, everything animates together. Now let's make some adjustments to our text box. So I'm going to shrink this down just a little bit so it fits where we want it to be, like so. Let's see, that looks pretty good. And if I click in here, I can put in some placeholder text. I'll type my name. There's our name. I'm going to move that up so the G is not cut off, just like that. Now what we want to do is say somebody has a much longer name, like Henry V, the Seventh, the Third, the Fourth, the Ninth of the Lake Kingdom of George, or something like that. All right, we need that all to fit inside of this text box. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a whole bunch of X's to where we want our text to end. So right there is the farthest I ever want text to go. So if I click on tabs and options right here, I can say set to current and then I click this enable. And now whenever I type, it fits into that box. So if I delete this out, it'll expand right back to where it is. So now that box is locked at that width. So what we want to do now is duplicate this name to this side. So how do we do that? Real easy. We go down to our text layer. We right click and we go copy and then we go paste and now it has duplicated. So all I have to do is click on the little yellow ball again, drag right across, and we now have our text layer duplicated for our other side. All right, so now let's work on our uh, title plate. So this is where it's gonna say monster truck driver, skydiver, videographer. So we're just going to make another text object. We're gonna drag that down to where we want it. And then we're going to make sure that that is also inside of our Photoshop document like so. I'm going to put a bunch of placeholder X's in to get the text to the farthest distance I want it like that. And then I'm going to go back to my tabs and options. I'm going to say set to current again. I'm going to click enable and then I'm going to go over to the text element we created right click on it click copy right click on it again click paste and then drag this over to the other side just like that so now we have our lower third set up for two people 
So now let's say we want to animate our lower third. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure we click on our lower third layer right here. And we're going to go over to Scene Directions. And we're going to go to New, New Scene Direction. And I'm going to call this one. I'm going to rename it. And we're going to say it's an out. So O-U-T, out. So we're going to build our out first. Then I'm going to set a... So I'm going to right click in here and I'm going to set, go to add clip, animation control. So that is giving us our first keyframe. So I want to make this only about 20 keyframes. So I'm going to drag that down, adjust this box right here so I can see about 20. I want to get that right at about 20. And the first thing we're going to do is set our first keyframe on zero frames so remember this is just like we did in premiere wherever this playhead is is where we put our keyframes so i make sure that's at zero frames i go down to where it says key and i'm going to set my position so i'm going to put x y z invisibility and i'm going to say set and close then i'm going to move my playhead to 20 frames and i'm going to go to transform and i'm going to adjust my y-axis and i'm going to move our lower third off screen so here it goes it's going it's going it's going it's still going we could type that in manually with numbers but why would we do all that work when we could just sit here and wait for it to automatically go down for us so as soon as that is right off the edge of our frame like so we're going to go back over to key and we're going to make sure that all of our coordinates are correct xyz invisibility and we're going to say set key so now we've laid in a keyframe here and we've laid in a keyframe here so now if i bring it back up and i preview it we can see it takes our lower third off the screen so now we want to work smart, not hard. So we're going to right click on our animation controller and we're going to be like copy. We're going to close that tab. We're going to go back to scene director. We're going to go to new scene director and we're going to call this one. Right click on it and call it in I N. And then we're going to go to here and we're going to go paste. We're going to make sure that we're on our lower third. We're going to be like, yep, we're going to drag that to where it's one shrink this down to 20 again like so let's make sure we're doing this right so we get that right to about 20 so this green line is our keyframe that's what we're shooting for and then what we're going to do is a little bit of magic we're going to right click on it and click reverse direction so now when I play this it's off screen it's on screen so we need to bump that one frame forward apparently so it goes all the way off the screen like that so now we can see we have our animation set up right so when it's off it now animates in perfect so now we need to tell expressions hey guess what we want you to do this when we hit the take button so we're going to go to where it says scene we're going to go to our logic, we're going to add a new rule, and we're going to say if rule is true, we want you to be in on the in, and if the rule is true again, we want it to be on the out. So now we have this to set up to animate in and animate out. So now that we have our lower third all set up and we have it animating on and off and we have our text set to uh, go to its max length, maybe we want to change this and make a little bit different version of this so maybe we don't want this side here we only want it set up for one person all we have to do is go over to our scene that we set up here go file go duplicate so now we've duplicated it make sure that we've selected this scene now all we have to do to modify this lower third is open up our lower third file and then we find our right side triangle which is this gold triangle right here and we just turn that off and then we go to our text object which is right here and we delete that say yes we delete our other text object which is right here we verify that by turning on and off the eyeball we delete that 
and now we have it set up to be a single person lower third. So now when we go to our sequencer, we can drag these into our sequencer like so. And if we're on a dual lower third, which we can see down here, we can modify the names like so. We can modify this name like so. We can modify their title graphics on the single one. We can just modify the single name as well. So now let's open up our output and we can actually look and see how it animates on and off. So as you can see, now we are on our dual lower third. If I want to animate that out, I just click the next button and it animates off, it animates on, it animates off. That is how simple it is to build a Photoshop file, bring it into expressions, and animate it. I hope you guys enjoyed this little lesson. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. I'll be more than happy to walk you through any issues that may occur.